We all have a purpose. Everyone and everything around us is here for a reason. It is in the execution of that purpose, that good deed, the thing which makes us beautiful on the inside out, our ability to instill change within ourselves and inspire others. So he had a dream and he believed that God has given him that dream, that my wife was cheating on me. That's my mom. The father closed up the whole house all over, turned on the TV louder like nobody couldn't hear. Yeah. That one doesn't count. So he took us in the kitchen, he put a pot of boiling hot water on the stove, and he took a cutlass, a knife, and wrist blades he bought, freshly bought from the store. The children were there behind me shouting and screaming, hollering and all these things. And if they only yell, he started beating them and all too. But he don't damage them like how he just damaged me. He didn't joke me no way, just marking my skin like this with a knife. When he marks you with this knife, you can't holler. I tell you plain, you can't holler. Don't make no noise on these things. In one day alone, I experienced something like, let me say about 30, 35 to 36 cuts and chops in my body. Yes, I actually bleed out my, my entire body with blood. I guess he cut and cut until he couldn't cut no more of her. And when he was finished, he had a bottle of Gramazone poison, and he was going to poison all of us. He mixed it in a half gallon ice cream container and gave me to drink. No, he gave the one of the little boy to drink for us, and I started to cry hard. When I started to cry, he gave me a next chop. That is when I get it here. And I scrambled the bowl out of the boy hand, one of the little boy, and by the cut all in the fingers and the hand and them thing, and so... The blood slide, I leaned the bowl to my mouth, but it didn't get my mouth. I'll fall on top of my stomach like this because the blood from my hand slide the bowl out and that is how the poison get to show away. That was like life in hell. I strive to be a beauty with a purpose. What you just witnessed was a series of events which commenced with a husband who had a dream. A dream that his wife was cheating on him. And what did he decide to do? Like most men who suffer from low self-esteem, trauma, and have been victims of abuse or bullying, these are the results. Here are the stories I am about to share with you. In this country that I call home, I met with the family of a young boy named Joshua, who died as a result of bullying. Like other children of his age group, he was also a victim. His life is an example of the reality that exists within our backyard. He is such a loving and warm person. That is so cute! This is who? This is Joshua? This is Joshua, yes. Yeah. This is when he was three months. Sally tell me this. This is when he was about a year. I can tell you. He was at school. And he bought a rose for his mom. He brought her to his mom. He bought a rose for his mom? Yeah. Okay. So, aren't like this, this um, boy that normally always tried to bully him now and then? won the rose. And he didn't give it up. Try to hold on to what he wanted to give his mom. A surprise, man. A, um, Valentine gift from him to him just to show love. And with that, I think that's why the guy pushed him. Back. Then I called her first. When I called her first, she, she just come and look and then she went back. And when I called her back again, then she told me that Joshua don't have any calls. Take him to World Wellness Hospital when I get the ADLs. They ask me a whole lot of questions before they do anything. After, like, within half an hour.
In an effort to address this cause, I launched a three-phase campaign called Stop the Violence, Bullying Ends Here. In the first phase of my project, I worked alongside my group CADVA, the Caribbean American Domestic Violence Awareness, and IMRAC. To bring about awareness on the topic bullying, we ventured into several schools around Guyana and held interactive sessions with the students of those schools. Through the use of skits and discussions, children were allowed to express their concerns and some identified measures that could be implemented in the school systems to aid in the alleviation of bullying. These sessions were followed by the launch of Operation Billboard, a cross-country initiative which envisioned the use of billboards created by young talent in Guyana to help educate the public about bullying, its effects, and how we can help discourage the rise of this social ill. In the second part of my campaign, I partnered with the Bravo Arts Group in Guyana to launch an art competition with the theme, Stop the Violence, Bullying Ends Here. Children between the age range of 7 to 16 were required to create a piece of artwork that depicts the importance of stopping the violence and putting an end to bullying. The operation was a fundraiser event where over 200,000 Guyana dollars was raised to aid in the completion and launch of the Hope Phoenix website. The newly launched forum lends itself as an innovative tool for much needed resource online. It is a known fact that most young people seek help on the internet every day. So my team and I believe that this would be a great avenue for such persons to express themselves, interact with other young persons that may be going through the same ordeals, and reach out for assistance. We are more than ready to render all the help necessary. All it takes is one click of your mouse by. These efforts are only a small part of the fight against bullying and violence in Guyana, but I believe through education, building a network and taking a more hands-on approach, in time we will achieve our goal. There is strength in numbers and together we can.